I'm Dorothy Lee, Family and Consumer Science Agent, University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, Escambia County. And so today I'm going to prepare a granola. Uh, it's high in energy and uh, provides a lot of energy for us. And it's easy, uh, portable, so you can carry it with you. Uh, it's one of those uh, grab-and-go uh, recipes um, that provides a lot of uh, energy for just a very small amount of the snack. So as you can see, uh, I have quite a few ingredients here on, um, on display. And uh, this is a quick and easy granola. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with measuring some uh, quick cooking oats. And uh, the recipe that I'm using uh, is, calls for about four cups of what we call rolled oats or old-fashioned oats. So we're going to measure those into our bowl. Okay. All right. And we're going to set those aside for now. Okay. And the next step is putting together uh, what we call the stuff that kind of sticks it together. And I'm going to start with a half a cup of water. two tablespoons of vegetable oil, okay, I'm going to add um, a little bit of honey, about two tablespoons of honey, and a good way to measure your honey uh, is if you have some cooking spray, uh, baking spray is Go ahead and spray your container and that'll help it come out a little bit easier. Um, a little bit of vanilla and today um, instead of using regular uh, flavored vanilla I'm using maple flavored vanilla so that it will add just a little bit of a uh, different flavor to it. We need salt, about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and then some cinnamon, um, about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to thoroughly mix all of these ingredients together until all of the honey is mixed in and our spice, our cinnamon is mixed. Okay, and the next step is we want to combine a liquid mixture with our oats. So gradually pour the mixture, the liquid mixture, into our oats and make sure that they are thoroughly, the oats are thoroughly coated. Okay. Now while mixing the liquid in with the oats, we could also add some nuts. Uh, almonds are great. Slivered almonds would be great. And you would add these at this time. When we finish uh, baking, we can add some other ingredients to our granola. Okay. So it's very important to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. I have a 9 by 13 uh, baking sheet. And I'm going to cover it with uh, parchment paper. Cover our pan with the parchment paper and and then spread our oatmeal, our oats, and our mix. We want to make sure that it's evenly spread so that it'll cook thoroughly. Okay, we'll spread it out. Okay. All right, now we're ready to put um, our granola into the oven at 275 degrees, and we're going to cook it actually for uh, an hour. Um, the first 20 minutes we're going to stir, and then uh, at 20 minutes uh, intervals 
uh, we're going to stir for an hour. So that'll be three intervals for 20 minutes. Um, and at the end of the hour, uh, it'll be nice and brown and we'll remove it from the oven and uh, can add some raisins and uh, we could add some cranberries and uh, so forth to it to make it um, your own. So that's our wonderful granola. Uh, it's wonderful for breakfast uh, in a smoothie. Um, it's, it would be great um, if you uh, added it to a parfait or you could take it on the go just for uh, a quick snack on the run. It provides uh, a lot of uh, energy, a lot of fiber and so forth.